Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we're going to talk about the most common error message that you encounter, apparently, according to Google, when visited web, visiting web pages. So, error 500, internal server error. What does that mean? This is apparently the most popular one. This is the one we see the most. I've seen it a few times. I remember seeing this one. Um, and basically what it means is uh, several things can be going wrong. Most of the time, majority of the time, has nothing to do with you. So when you get an error message from your web browser like this one, 500, doesn't have, it's not your problem. It's really the server has something wrong. So what could it be? It could be the server itself crashing, having issues, not working right. It could also be that it's overloaded. Maybe too many requests are being done. And the fact that it's working too hard is actually making it crash, giving you error messages. And of course, your request not going through. So it's all sorts of problems that have to do with how the server can handle the request of you wanting a web page, specific website, and so on. In general, these go away after a certain amount of time. Either they actually get fixed, so if it's something that the uh, website owners uh, and the tech people there can actually fix, they'll be fixing it, and at some point it comes back. If it's an overload problem, too many people um, actually going to um, the website, well, at, 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 you know, wait after a certain amount of time that uh, amount of, uh, of, of you know, traffic will go down and the website will work again. Of course, if it's a crashing issue or if it's a server error, because sometimes this could be very quick. It could be you go, you get error 500, you go again, and it's fine. Well, remember that servers, when you go to a website, there's not just one machine. Often it goes through a lot of machines. You could be actually hitting the one that has a problem, but then you do the request again and you are in another machine that works fine. So that's also a possibility. So it's never really you. It's always something wrong with the server. Just try again. Try again after a few minutes or, you know, just wait. Come back a few hours later the next day. Usually it should be fixed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.